two updates coming up on Penas TV. The big question is, are Ghanaians already fed up with journalists Anas Aremeyao Anas? And is Kennedy a compare Kuwait Japan? Is he already winning with his argument that Anas is evil, he's corrupt and he even takes bribe? Because just some few days ago, a judge has ordered that Anas should appear in courts because he is not above the laws of Ghana. Also coming up in the news, we all saw what happened uh, recently at Ayawasu West Wagon during the by election where some people purported to be military and police personnel wore masks, they beat up civilians and even shoot some people. They have appeared before a committee and they asked them why did they wear the mask. Guess what the DSP said? He said they wore the mask because of mosquitoes. This can only happen in Ghana. We'll give you more updates on that particular one. So let's start off with the issue of the moment. Just last year, we all saw the expose which shook the whole of Ghana, talking about Anasis and his Tiger IP, um, uh, Tiger IPI expose that is analysis number 12 it shook the whole of ghana it even saw that uh, some big gfa officials were involved in a bribe scandal or they took bribe and then he saw that the big fish himself talking about christian techi was even caught on tape taking bribe which led to his removal from office but then one person who said that he didn't take bribe and Nas claimed in the video that, video that he took bribe is the then gfa spokesperson talking about ibrahim sani dara he has taken Anas to court. Yes, he took Anas to court because according to him, he said that he didn't take bribe. But Anas claimed that he took bribe in his uh, number 12 expose that he did. So he sued Anas a whooping amount of 6 million Ghana cities. And guess what uh, happened? Even though they've been going to court back and forth, back and forth, they appeared in court just some few days ago and the judge has ordered that Anas should appear in court to swear the affidavit because he it's not above the laws of Ghana. Let's take it from this point. Somebody will ask what really happened that led to this particular point. You realize that the analysis number 12 that he showed, the spokesperson uh, for the GFA, that is Sunny Dara, was talking to one person or one of uh, analysis team members who was also involved in the expose that he wanted one of his people to come into the blasters or to play for the blasters of Ghana. Then Ibrahim Sunny Dara said that if this man is good, he does not have any problem. And then a Nazis person said that, okay, I would like to give you something so our person can play in the national team. Sunny Dara said that he won't take anything. If the player is good, fine, he should just come. They will assess him if he's good, they'll just push him in the national team. Then Sunny Dara was not really caught on tape taking bribe. But then, according to the video that we watched, somebody took the bribe on behalf of he, Sunny Dara. So after the expose came, he was also a part of the people who took the bribe because it was like somebody has taken the bribe on behalf of him, Sanidara. Then Sanidara came out and no, this particular thing inflicts uh, on his right and also uh, it's a human rights abuse to he himself. So he sued Anas a whooping amount of 6 million Ghana cities. So they've been in court back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And we all know that Anas was represented by his lawyer, Kisi Ejabin, who talks much on social media and also TV, he always goes around defending Anas. And when they met in court, the justice, uh, whose name is Justice Nicholas Adodakwe, said that Anas should appear in court to swear the affidavit because Anas is not above the law. Let's take this particular uh, session that we took from the Daily Graphic. It reads, uh, the judge has ruled that Anas Aremeya Anas and his Tiger IP must defend themselves in court over the human rights case brought against them by Ibrahim Sanidara, that is the GFA spokesperson, after they sought to dodge the case by asking a lawyer to answer and represent the lawsuit on their behalf. The judge, the judge is lordship Mr. Justice Nicholas Adopai slammed Anna's defense of his life being in danger as the reason for seeking to evade court scrutiny as incompetent and in inadmissible and ordered them to file a fresh affidavit in answer within just 14 good days. The plan to avoid appearing in court was hatched by Anas lawyer Kisi Ejabin Bet Dominic Eini flawed him with three superior arguments which was upheld by the judge, his lordship Mr. Justice Nicholas Adupai. Anas and his Tiger IP team were seeking to avoid direct scrutiny in court to answer in the human rights case brought by Sanidara over the number 12 investigation that claimed that he, Sanidara, was bribed by a Tiger IPI team to influence the selection of a player into the national team. He made a colleague accept it on his behalf. 
so basically this is just a background story of how the whole thing is going Anasis claimed one of Anasis team members said that he gave I mean bribe on behalf of Sanidara somebody took it on behalf of he the GFA spokesperson so that was what really led to I mean they going to court and then uh, Sanidara suing Anas Arimiya Anas that he has infringed upon his right many people say it is a big win it is a big win for Kennedy a complete because Kennedy has been saying that Anas no he is not above the law he should appear in court just like he is appearing in court he should take off the mask and face him in court like any other person this is however a first legal defeat for journalist Anas Arimiya Anas and his Tiger IPI team because the judge has slammed them that they are not above the law Anas himself should appear in court to swear the affidavit the judge should not do so on his behalf we don't know what will happen then from, but then the information we are getting is that Anas lawyers are planning to counter I mean what the judge has ruled that Anas should appear in court because they think that Anas's life will be in danger when he appears in court. The question is, is Anas better than anybody or not? Moving on to, we all knew what happened not so long ago or recently at Ayawasu West Wagon during the by election. We saw that some people wore I mean, masks and they were dressed in a military and a police affair. They were beating up people at the point in time we even saw that some people were shot uh, which led to the hospitalization of some people at the Kolebu teaching hospital. The president has vowed after that incident that he will not allow such a thing to happen under his regime. So he set up a committee. The name of this particular committee was Justice ML Shaw's Commission of Inquiry where they were, uh, where they were supposed to analyze and also assess what even led to the turn of events people wearing masks and people being shot in the first place so today uh, the person was in charge of security at that particular by election his name is dsp azugu he appeared before the commission they asked him boss why did your people wear masks during the by election and he said that the people wore masks because of mosquito bites they wore masks because of mosquito bites if you are kidding elections let's read what he said a portion of what we said as shown on the screen my lord sometimes we wear those masks because of mosquito bites to prevent mosquitoes from biting our ears and faces dsp azugu said during the cross examination at the justice emil Shaw's commission of inquiry on monday february 18 2019 in accra he also added though he's yet to know the reason why his men wore masks at the by election he said they wore the masks to protect their faces he earlier considered that his men did not handle the violence professionally they did not handle them in a professional way the way that they thought uh, they were taught to handle such situations when they arrested some civilians the some contacted themselves while others also decided to run away after the arrest and my boys pounced on them he said according to him his men wore masks to protect their faces so this is what dsp azugu said can you imagine and then the people that he said that uh, they, they, some people who didn't cooperate he is saying here that some people didn't cooperate when they arrested them the question is is sam george a corporate is he a criminal that you have to slap him uh, these questions arose or these questions arise when the commission of inquiry dsp azugu appeared before them whilst he was being questioned into what led into the turn of events at the recent by election that we had that is at ayawasu west Wagon. we are following all of this particular development carefully about what is really happening in ghana talking about anas arimiya anas and also i mean he losing his first legal battle with the gfa spokesperson or the then gfa spokesperson talking about sunny dara he has lost his first legal battle because the courts have said that he should appear in court because he is never above the law and guess what uh, dsp azugo also appeared before the commission of inquiry justice emil commission of inquiry and he was asked why his men wore masks he said they wore masks to protect their faces from intuntum mosquitoes we'll give you more updates in all of these issues that we've discussed here comment in the comment section below and let us know what you think in the comment section below also like and share this video to your various social media handles and thank you very much for watching